Welcome to the Liberty Minute. All things 77th Sustainment Brigade in one minute. I'm Army Staff Sergeant David Clemenko, and your minute starts now. So all of you remember the airdrop, where we went in the air and we dropped supplies down to the warfighters. Well, there's an entire backstory to how those airdrops are prepared. They're called riggers. So I'm here with Chief Hamill. Chief, welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you so much for being on the Liberty Minute. Thank so you. first and foremost, I know the audience out there is looking at your red hat and wondering, what is the red hat? Can you, uh, can you tell them uh, where it came from and why you guys wear a red hat? Sure, so briefly, uh, the red hat just signifies the parachute rigger is authorized only for us to wear. Uh, it helps to identify that parachute rigger quickly if we're out supporting an airdrop, airborne operation. So if there's an issue with that parachute, the jump master would find an issue, say, or uh, a load that's going out that plane. The load master, that jump master, could easily identify the parachute rigger for the red hat, get their attention, say, hey, can you look at this, can you fix this? Which is our specialty, we come over, we fix it. You know, makes us easy identify, easily identifiable. Perfect, so. so let's back up two seconds for them. And what is a rigger? It's a, obviously an Army MOS. What is a rigger? What do they do? What's the responsibilities of a rigger? Uh, so parachute riggers pack the parachutes for personnel, be it static line personnel jumps or halo military free fall jumps. Uh, they also pack, maintain all those parachutes along with cargo parachutes. So if we're dropping um, a vehicle, say, or um, some type of sustainment bundle, then that would be packed by riggers and then handed off to the Air Force or the Marines or whoever for drop. Uh, that's pretty much what we do, maintenance, packing, uh, and just supply, actually, you know, airdrop supply. Outstanding, Chief. So thank you. Anything you want to say to the folks back home, family back home? Uh, just to my family back home, uh, thanks for all the support. We're here trying to do our best to make you all proud. And um, I know I've been on a few of these deployments. There might be more to come, but uh, thanks for the support. I love you all, and uh, we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thank you, Chief. Thanks for joining the program. Thank you. All right, Liberty Nation. So I'm here with one of the riggers, Sergeant Wimpleberg. That is a mouthful. That's Sergeant. True. Sergeant Wimpleberg, do you get a lot of comments on that? Uh, just a, yeah, a lot. That's quite a name. You yeah. fit it all on the, uh, on the, uh... Somehow, somehow. I did just, they had to make it a little bit longer for me. <laughs> all right, well, welcome to the Liberty Minute. Thank you so much for Thanks, spending some time with me. So, for the audience back home, uh, we did a, a piece on airdrops, right? So, we were in the plane and they, they did an airdrop, and now we want to do the backstory on how those airdrops are prepared. So, you've got soldiers working behind us. Tell us what they're doing. Yeah, so they're building up a little bit of uh, class one material, such as food, water, any kind of edible uh, things to resupply, make sure our people are fed, people, fighters actually doing the job or are uh, getting the nutrients they need, as well as obviously water. But we're also setting up some blood as well. We also take care of some medical units. The units that are a little bit further away that can't be within a, a quick drive if they need medical supplies. So how do you make sure, like I'm looking at these things, and how do you make sure that they don't explode when they hit the ground? Uh, you cross your fingers. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, we, uh, we use a, a very um, profound uh, parachute system. Um, it's a low-cost system, so it's actually biodegradable. It's something we can leave out in the field. We don't have to worry about it. There's nothing recoverable. You just, uh, once it lands, you cut off uh, the straps, take what you need, and you can leave. Um, it's very reliable. We've been using it for years, and we'll continue to do so. How long have you been a rigger? I've been in for five years as a rigger. As a rigger, you love it? I sure do. I love it. Yes. Do you have a shout out you want to do to the folks back home? Uh, it's the first riggers. You guys, uh, you guys keep it going. Reserve riggers all the way. Um, just keep fighting the good fight. How about the, any family members back home? Do you want to say anything to them? <laughs> Hi, mom. All right. All right. That's for you, mom. Awesome. Thanks for joining the program. Thanks, John. All right. Thanks for joining another episode of the Liberty Minute. I'm Army Staff Sergeant David Clemenko, and you're in.